on our way to go see G. When we called this morning, they said that um, he did great and he was exclusively bottle fed last night and he did really well for his first feeding this morning when she was with him. So, you know, we're hopeful that, you know, if not today, very soon he'll make it a full 24 hours without having to use this feeding tube so um, you know we're hoping and praying that we can get him home soon but we're so proud of him and the progress that he made so far that was a good update so like Haley said he's doing really good there's three requirements he has to meet to come home one he's got to be off oxygen which he is two he's got to be off the IV which he is and three he has to be able to eat on his own so we are two for three he's got one more step before we're allowed to bring him home and if he's anything like his dad he's not gonna have a problem eating soon so this morning we're heading to the NICU to see him again we stopped to grab some chick-fil-a then we're gonna go check on our little buddy <laughs> is what he's doing. Okay. And you'll be able to see bubbles so you know he's actually drinking it. Got his feeding tube out. Oh, your little cheek. Hey, buddy. Were you sleeping good? Oh, my goodness. I like this little hat. That is a cute hat right there. Alright, alright. We made it home. Tomorrow there's about a 90% chance that we're going to get to bring G home for the very first time. He made it off oxygen, he got the IV out, and he finished both bottles for the feedings that we had today. Little man is absolutely killing it. Now, as hard as it is to come home without him, that gives me a little more time to get a few things done, and then we'll bring home the baby, and according to everyone, I will never be able to do anything ever again. Tomorrow's going to be an awesome day, though. I'm really looking forward to it. Not only are we going to bring G home, but it'll also be the first time that a lot of the family has been able to see him. One, he was in the NICU, but two, with the COVID rules right now, I was the only person allowed to attend the hospital with Haley. And I completely understand why, especially hospitals of all places, are going to be locked down. But I'm sure you understand, if you have a baby, you want your family to be there. So tomorrow is going to be first day with the family for baby G. Thank you guys so much for all the love, all the support, all the prayers. I'm sorry.